everyone so I'm back with another story time video so I posted my first story time video uh, a couple weeks ago and everyone really seemed to like it so I am back with another one and so when I was brainstorming about what kind of video I wanted to post um, I kept going back to one that I thought would be um, helpful and I guess just kind of you know raise awareness if that makes sense and it's about my scariest mom moment now um, again I, I want to share the story because I, I think sometimes kids can surprise you with what it is that they you know will do sometimes and just for me it was something Connor did something once that I just never thought that he would do and it scared me so bad so the story is is about two years ago when we were still at our old apartment complex it was a Saturday afternoon and it was just me and Connor at the house with our dog um, my husband was at work that day and so we decided to go outside and walk the dog. Now the apartment complex that we lived at um, had a lot of really awesome trails like around the apartment complex. It would kind of go like out into the woods and it would like go around the apartment complex and it would you know take you places. Like there was a little uh, like picnic area. Um, the apartment complex had really nice pools. So one of the uh, trails would kind of like whip around and then drop you off at a pool. So we went outside, we put the dog on the leash and we were walking outside, just really enjoying the weather. Um, this was probably like January January, February. I'm not sure exactly what month it was, but I know it was right after Christmas and it was still kind of chilly outside. But you know, we could still wear like blue jeans, t-shirts, you know, that kind of stuff. But um, definitely a little bit of a chill in the air. So we were walking through um, the trails and you know, I had Connor's hand in one hand and I had the dog leash in the other. And we walk around and at the end of the trail is a swimming pool. So there wasn't anybody at the swimming pool because again, it was kind of chilly outside. And uh, the swimming pool was really nice because it had this like really big like um, like waterfall area and it had like a lot of really pretty like tropical plants and it was just a very like scenic place if that makes any sense. And so we walked through the gates and uh, you know again I have Connor's hand you know one hand dog leash in the other. I also have my keys and my cell phone as well. And um, so we're walking around, we're kind of looking at the pool, we're watching the waterfall and everything. I let go to Con let go of Connor's hand because he walked over to um there was like a big like flower tree bush thing that you know he was like picking some of the flowers off and again I still had the dog. The dog was kind of sniffing around, you know. We just were kind of enjoying our day. Well, I look over and Connor's probably at this point about 10 feet away from me, you know, not not too far, not too crazy, and he kind of gives me this look. And now looking back, I should have known that that look meant something, but I, at for, I just, for some reason, just blew it off that he was just kind of giving me this like little smirk. And so I just kind of blew it off, didn't think anything of it. And at the same time, my dog Jixer, something caught his attention and he kind of like pulled at the leash a little bit. And I, it caused me to kind of look over at the dog and say, Jixer, you know, come back. But as soon as I did that, I hear from where Connor was, the sound of little feet running. And then all of a sudden a big splash and I just immediately turned my head over and all I could see was this big splash of water coming out of the pool and no Connor. Connor was about three years old when he did this so he can't swim and um, obviously was not dressed to go swimming, didn't have any floaties on, didn't have his, you know, bathing suits, you know, nothing. He was fully clothed. So I, of course, threw the leash and I had my cell phone and my keys in this hand. I threw that and I immediately run over to the side of the pool. And I remember I, I hit the side of the pool, like on the ground, the concrete so hard on my knees because my, my intention was just to kind of like hit the ground and pick him up with my arm like out of the pool but and I skinned up my knees when I did that that's how hard like I hit it and uh even like through my blue jeans but he had jumped so far off of the side of the pool into the water that I actually had to jump into the water fully clothed kind of bounce over a few feet to where he was grab him and pick him up and I Again, it was just one of those moments that it happened so fast and I was just so shocked because first of all, the water was freezing because again, it was so pretty chilly outside. It was a sunny, nice day, but the water was definitely chilly. So I immediately grabbed him, pulled him up. You know, he's kind of coughing up a little bit of water. It wasn't that big of a deal because he wasn't underwater that long. Um, and I immediately kind of turned around and I put him on the side of where the you know pool ledge was. And in that moment, I realized I can either freak out and just totally lose it because I'm scared, he's scared, and I can totally lose it. Or I can take two seconds to take a deep breath and just say, 
Connor, are you okay? Are, are you hurt? Did you hurt yourself? What did you, why would you do that? You know? And so, um, I took a second. I asked him if he was okay. He said, yes. And I said, why did you do that? And he said that he just wanted to go swimming. And at that moment, there was another person that was like walking their dog that they had kind of seen, you know, cause this all unfolded in about five and a half seconds, but she walked over and asked us if we were, asked us if we were okay. I said, I think we were fine. I got out of the pool again. I don't even remember, you know, I remember at the time that I thought, oh my gosh, do I have my cell phone on me. Like my keys, like this all happened so fast. Like what happened to them? The dog's running around with no leash on my cell phone. Like I think I threw it in a bush or something. It was just unbelievable. But I got him out of the water. I get out. I'm soaking wet. He's soaking wet. And I immediately scoop him up. I grab the dog. I find my keys. I find my cell phone and we wobble home and we get inside and I sit him down and I asked him why he did it. And he said again that he just wanted to go swimming and he wanted to show me how he could jump off the pool, but he didn't realize uh, several things. He didn't realize he didn't have his floaties on. He didn't realize how cold the water was and he didn't realize he couldn't swim. And so I, the reason why I guess I'm sharing this video with y'all is because again, it was something that I just never thought he would do. I was so shocked. Connor is a pretty um, well-behaved child. You know, he doesn't do anything like that. That's like super wild. Um, but at the same time, he's a kid, you know, and he might do something, you know, that surprises me a little bit, but this was without a doubt, the biggest thing that I ever saw him do. And it was just so out of character for him because there were so many times in the summertime, we would be down at the pool and with, you know, his floaties on and he'd be good to go. And I would even encourage him to jump off the side of the pool into the pool with me because he had a little bit of a fear of like getting his face underwater and he wouldn't do it even then. So for him to do it this day, it just really surprised me and it was totally out of character for him. So I guess the point of this video is to not underestimate your kids. Um, your kids can surprise you. My kids definitely surprised me. And it was definitely a moment where I realized that as a parent, it's my responsibility to set certain things um, you know, in place, which means like getting him swimming lessons, um, not letting him wander too far off, even though he was only 10, 15 feet away at the time. And uh, just to realize that kids do things and you have to watch them. It was just such an insane moment for me. And so when, to this day, when I think back on it, I'm like, what was he thinking? That's just such an, ins I mean, anyway, so that's my story time video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.